You know, opening season in Georgia and Alabama, I never miss it. And obviously I've never missed an opening day with my dad since I was 14 when I started turkey hunting. And so now I usually have my kids come along. I got McCoy who's 14 or now 15, Mason who's 21. I got Meyer who's 17, my little girl Addie, she's also 15. So it's unbelievable. Now we got Waylon who's five, who's ready to rock and roll. And so it's so cool to start early season like that. But the South, typically early season is usually your best chance to really have an opportunity to call turkeys into the call. You can do it all year, but early, obviously it's new. Not many people have been in the woods. Some people have been out scouting and yelping the turkeys, which sometimes can make it a little more difficult. But the turkeys are really ready to breed. Sometimes they're starting to get hinned up. They're doing a lot of breeding, but it's easier to manipulate a turkey with a turkey call that time of year and bring them right into a gun range. But early season, you also can use decoys and they work really well. But during this time of year, I like to start off just yelping the turkey in. And like the opening day, a lot of times with my kids, I will put at least a Jake decoy out because a lot of times when they see that, they'll come right in and it typically gives younger kids a better shot opportunity where the turkey's standing still versus a transition turkey when they're coming in gobbling to a call. A lot of times they're passing through and circling. So on this episode that you're about to see, you're gonna see a couple examples of both. So. What I like to do is demonstrate and show you all the aspects of turkey hunting and all the different tactics. And you can decide what best works for you based on the time of year and what you like, what, what, what really gets you fired up. So there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different methods, and you can choose that. But early season is always my favorite time of year, especially when you're talking Georgia and Alabama, man, it's on. Usually the turkeys are gobbling good. It's a beautiful time of the year. And if you can make one flop, it gets even better. I would say if two turkeys come in, I would say whoever's up first and Mason backs up since he's the more mature and probably is a little better at Why don't we do this for the first, for the first turkey? Yeah, let's flip. Y'all flip between y'all's two and I'll, I'll just back up whoever whoever's shooting. Okay. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll throw it up, catch it, and put it on my hand. All right, I got it. Now I get tails, son. <laughs> okay, <laughs> get what's left. Dogs, <laughs> <laughs> tails, turkey. It's Meyer. Whatever. Do you, do you want to shoot first, Meyer? Yeah, defer, shoot. To, defer to your brother. All right. One thing I will say, since we got all the knuckleheads, Meyer's 15, you're 13, Mason's 20. I'm 13. Still, whoever takes gun, gun safety, gun first. Seriously. I cut up a lot. I'm 19, but we'll out of here. Keep up. I should, I should be that much more safe. Yeah. So. I'm a little concerned. Uh, Meyer done turned his flashlight on over here. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my head's camera on. He, he thought it was a flashlight. Oh. <laughs> no, that's a tactic cam. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> my turn his flashlight on and go through the woods. Oh, like a tactical was... assault, ain't that right? <laughs> that ain't what Vandy meant by beaming them up. I know that it's not in the script, but it should be noted. So, the long beard thunder chip, strutting with complete confidence, like a pimp in Compton, over valleys, over hills, even through the worthless sweet gum trees. Let this day be marked, the flop can't be stopped. Opening day, Georgia season. I've got three of my boys, Mason, McCoy, and Meyer, and Papa. So this makes 33 or 34 years that I've never missed an opening day with my dad. So that right there is a pretty good blessing. There's a lot of folks that hadn't had a chance to uh, even hunt 30 something years, much less have a chance to celebrate the opening day of any kind of season for you know this many years so and and I've done it pretty much other than one year we've always hunted the same track of land which is right here in Booger Bottom so it's been uh, pretty special to do that and now to hunt with my boys and I know all my boys have gotten a turkey on this land Mason got him one Meyer got him one and McCoy got his first ever turkey here on this uh, same piece of property. I mean, literally all within 
probably a half mile each other right up here where we're going this morning so if we can go get on some this morning and get one in the back of the truck man it'll just be sweet because i know them biscuits gonna be biting and gobbling ain't that right hey and remember everybody when we get to going in the woods especially if we get on turkey pick up your feet and try not to be like Bowwise or Clydesdale horses Definitely two of them. We'll eat. We'll ease up through here. See if we can't strike. I'm sure he's got hens with him. Well, turkeys gobble pretty hard on roost, but hit the ground and never. I thought I heard a hen one time, but there's got to be a hen or something. He's with. He just kind of shut up. Heard him gobble way down here one other time. We're just gonna ease down here. See if we can't strike him up. Get where he wants to be. But when they get hen up, man, you just gotta just stay on them. That's what happened last year. He end up turkeys, and finally. We got, as they got down in the woods, we was able to come back a little later, get back on them and push down on them a little bit and get them with actually the same decoy I got in my hand and got to fighting and pulled them off the hens and they come up and was able to get a shot. If it had been lonely, he would have just come right through here perfect, but had to have hands with him. Let's see, he's down here, y'all. Sometimes you can just, especially on these electric carts, you can just kind of ride and call, don't even get off. Strike one, the ultimate running gun, the fat boy way to do it.
Well, about midday, we trying to scratch one up. We, we may have to go back over there where we left them. I figured we'd hear one here, but no luck yet. Wind's getting up. Can't hear quite as good. Got to get pretty close to them. Right where I thought he'd be. He's about where they always are. Yeah. Hey, Coy, here you go. All right, I knew he was going to hit one. We have to go in there a little deeper. These pine trees, you can't hear real if good. He's by gotta, himself. I think he might. You got to get, you gotta get close to him. I this wind crank, got up. Had to crank down on him to make him gobble. So he could be he could be with his, but if he's coming, we have to ease in there because he could be on the way. And we might not even get right there. Keep coming, Corey. Can you see the bead? Yeah. Okay, just let him come. Shoot him if you can, go and shoot him. Wait, he's behind a tree. He's behind a tree. God dang it. Just wait a second. Shoot right. him when you can, right. go ahead. Shoot him. I can't. God. My goodness. God, he's just up, man. We should have just, I should have shot him when he locked, he tucked his wings once, it's my fault. I, Well, we, he, when I told him to shoot, he couldn't shoot. And I, and I, should, I, I knew better with McCoy than to sit here and try to milk it. I should have, you know, we kept saying, let him come, let him come. Cohen was wanting to let him come. I was wanting to let him come. But, but he, when he got in here in plenty of range, I should have said, just shoot him when you got a clean shot. Should have screwed the footage. I had a clean shot. I know, I know. I should have told you to shoot. Whew. Hey, that's all right, Coy. This place is cursed down here. We cannot kill a turkey. We screw it up every time, every time. Oh. Christy screwed up some down here. We couldn't do it. And that right there, we just, 
opening day blues. We just thought we was gonna get one of these Golden Moose Awards, I guess. I guess we thought, now we ain't got a Golden Moose Award, nor do we got a turkey. If you get sometimes, you're killing turkeys, not videoing them. Without a camera, he could have been shot eight times. I almost said shoot him.
We just screwed up on another one, boys. All right, get ready, get ready. Now, when you get a shot, you shoot him. I don't care if Cohen got him. Bring him back over here. It's all right, it's all right, we got him. Whew. Finally, yeah. Yeah. We brought him back. He left and we brought him back. He come up here 25, 30 yards, couldn't get him shot and just got the Coy, you up next, baby? We gonna get him? I'm sorry, Coy. It's his job. I said, don't let that turkey get out of here. I couldn't do it, man. God. All right, Mason, Man, hey, Coy, Papa, do it, baby. Right. Hey, Woo. welcome. That's the second one today, man. I'm about lost my religion. I gotta go to church Sunday. Yeah, Just can't stop in the flopping, baby. Yeah, I'm glad I went ahead and moved up. I about spooked him when I did. But I couldn't <laughs> see y'all. I could see everybody. Oh, he had left. Back. He had left, and I got to flopping. He come running. Could you see him running back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was gone. He was gone. He, he was left. Gone. He done tucked his wings. Oh my God. We got him though. Good old booger bottom two year old baby. The last one I killed was two years ago. Over at the dump we started this morning. We had to uh, had to work for him a little bit today. We had one one getaway that should have been dead too. Should have been a double up. That's all right. This one's about to get out of there. I told him. I told McCoy, I said, I don't care, just shoot him. I don't care if you get him on footage or not. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoy this episode, but also I want to remind you to download the My Outdoor TV app and you can watch all the Can't Stop the Flops. They're semi-live right now as we speak.